today. I started extending the fuselage aft. I got two stringers installed as well as bulkhead 2.1 on both sides. Keep in mind, other than the general shape of the fuselage from the outside, I have really no idea what I'm doing. All I know is that there's something there, it curves like so, and it travels from forward to aft. <clears throat> the rest of it is a bunch of guesswork. But that's how I built the front, or at least the, uh, at least the sides. What's going to make this portion of the sides the biggest challenge is there's great expanses of really nothing there. There's no equipment. There's no doors. It's relatively plain. Whereas on the sides, I knew how long these doors are. I know how big these panels are. There's something to compare to. Tomorrow, I hope to install the frames every five inches. So say one, two, only three frames times two, six frames. And then get that bottom channel in there. And of course, you've heard me say several times that my plan until I figure out how much it would cost to get a wide load permit for this thing. I can only go four inches past this point, and that would take it to 96, which is, in my state at least, the maximum width you can haul. And this thing would fit sideways onto a trailer, or lengthways. But from... That point there to that point on the Astrodome is 96 inches. So in terms of it being modular, say there down is the furthest I can go. And then I have to devise a way to make the back and have it bolt on there. The good news is, is these areas here are going to be covered with the ceiling so I can have bolts in there and you won't see them but I'm gonna to have to figure out something here and of course the sides there'll be big panels that I can simply de-rivet or put some quarter turn fasteners of, or something like that in there to make it conveniently come apart of course if I move the thing it's only gonna be once it's not like I'm gonna be moving it constantly But tomorrow we'll do the frames and I got a feeling that I'm going to be building a bulkhead soon because I really need to get to verify my line because on the real aircraft the nose is out about there curves around goes like this and right there that's when it goes straight all the way back to the uh, aft compartment and then it tapers there slightly so something's gonna and i do need to extend this all the way to the bulkhead just to establish the um, overall shape and form of the sides so that's coming along with bulkhead 2.2 So, thanks for uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all your comments and your enthusiasm. It, uh, every time I look at my numbers, it just blows me away. And I can't thank you all enough. See you next time.